Alright, so to make this ring, we're gonna need, of course, the material. And I've got some brass here, which is 4mm thick. You can, of course, use whatever material you want. Preferably shiny. Then you're, of course, gonna need some files. Get a saw, a coping saw, to get the shape out of this blank. You're gonna need a compass to scrap down the circles for the ring, of course. You're gonna need a ruler, preferably actually a caliper, and a drill. And if you wanna add stones or diamonds, whatever, to the ring, you're gonna need these three tools, a hammer, I assume everyone got a hammer, then a punch, and a scribe, a metal scribe. And of course these stones, which in this case are 3mm cubic zirconia stones. You can get these off of Fleabay. They're like dirt cheap actually. Maybe 10 cents per piece. Alright, let's get started with the first step. Oh yeah, what I forgot is that you're of course gonna need some sandpaper. I've got some 240 here. 240 grit. There it is, 240. Uh, I've got some 1000. I've got some 1500 and 2500 as well. And if you've got some, it definitely goes a very long way to get some polishing compound. I've got this Elster Glanz here for people in Germany. Alright, here we are back. I've got my compass set to half of my ring size so that when I circ do a circle, it's well, my full ring size. I'm just gonna lay down this circle here. This is of course gonna be the inner circle of the ring. Okay. Here we are. It's hard to see for you on the camera, but I definitely can't see it. That's the most important uh, thing that you can see the line. And then we're just gonna expand the compass about three millimeters so that we have a little room to get the stone in. And I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Got the shape laid out. All right, let's drill. All right, let's do this. Let's Alright, there it is. Now the outside. What always helps is to just give a little drop of cutting oil onto the blade and just lubricate it a little bit. Definitely helps to soften the metal. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now that's the blank, and we have to start filing now. Alright, now to get the inner line, the inner ring to the line here, I'm using a round file. And just patiently work up to the line. Now if you want to ha learn how to file right, I can recommend you a video by Clickspring. He really does amazing stuff on his channel. All right, now that the inside is reasonably regular, we can start the outside. And for that I'm using the same file, but I'm using the flat side.
right, that's looking not too bad now, does it? Alright, now that the filing is done, we can now start the sanding. So I've just got some glass plate here, because of the straight face. And I'm just gonna start with the 240 paper to get rid of all the scratches and, you know, big surface irregularities. As you can see, it already makes quite a difference. So I'm just gonna do that a little bit. Alright, that's the faces uh, sanded and now we can start to sand the round edge here. Just like that. And doing it with the finger as the back stop here kind of rounds off the ring as well, so that's a nice touch. Alright, the sanding with 240 paper is now done. Already looks kind of nice, but we still have three more grids to go and of course the polishing. So let's start with the 1000. Preferable would be actually something like uh, 600 before that, but I don't have that so I'll just skip that and go right to 1000. Alright, that's the 1000 grid done, and now we can start with the 1500 grid. Alright, now that we are through all the grids, the ring is looking pretty fine, and now I'm gonna go ahead and make a hole for the stone. Right, I'm just gonna measure here two millimeters because my original materials is four millimeters thick. So there's the mark. I'm gonna use a center punch to locate the hole position. There we are. Now we have to drill the hole for the stone. Ideally, you would use a drill press for that but you know I think that will do alrighty the hole is drilled and we can now test whether the stone fits in there we just Yeah, that's lovely. Nice. Okay, now we have to start polishing the ring. We can do that using just a normal cloth here in some polishing compound. And we just start rubbing. And I'm using a uh, glove here to not ruin the finish whilst holding it. And that definitely can take some time. But as you can see, this definitely is an improvement even over the 2500 grit. So I would definitely recommend doing that if you wanna do a real ring. All right, now, would you look at that? That is definitely a nice finish there. And now that the finish, that the polishing and sanding and everything is done, we'll just have to glue the stone into place. I'll just do that off camera using just some super glue. And then we'll be done. All right. 
right, here it is, finished. As you can see, it has a really nice golden color. And the stone definitely enhances the look of the ring. And yeah, I really like it. Definitely like the way it looks. All right, thanks for watching. See ya, take care.